Well, I think the holidays always bring friends and family back together, and that is exactly what has happened to daytime this morning. Our good friend Ron Scalf moved out of the area, but this weekend he is back home, and we certainly didn't want to miss a chance to catch up with him. So, Ron, it is good to have you back on the show. Good to see you, Amy. Last time we talked was two years ago. I know, and you haven't changed a bit. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, about a year ago, I did um, publish uh, my book about Bristol Motor Speedway, and uh, now I'm working on a ch children's book series uh, with Create Space and Amazon and the folks at Barnes & Noble, and the first of three books will be out around uh, Valentine's Day. Very it's, cool. Yeah, it's uh, called The Adventures of Snoopy and Matilda. Okay. It's about two dogs that get in a lot of trouble. Uh-oh. Yeah. Where'd you get that idea from? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so you decided to, I know that you very well known for your book on Bristol Motor Speedway. Yeah. This was a collaborate that you worked on for a very long time. Yes. What does it feel like, first of all, to have this one sort of done and in the books and, and still, you know, very popular, especially as we get close to the holidays? It's been amazing because um, um, NASCAR fans are all over the world. Yeah. I'm selling book, that book in uh, Europe and in Southeast Asia of all places, but I think that um, it's not easy to do. You think that as writers and producers that you just sit down. A friend of mine said, how long did it take you to write that book? About two weeks. Try about two years. But yeah. having said that, uh, it's just been very well received. And um, if you're interested in getting a copy, just go to racingthewayitwas.com. So. And so fun. And it shows, too, your love and passion for the track. Absolutely. I think that um, when Larry Carrier was at Bristol Motor Speedway, he helped build the track to where it is today. And mm -hmm. certainly a family in that kind of climate, uh, it was a smart uh, move, in my opinion, to go ahead and uh, sell it to Bruton Smith and move on. So, yeah, beautiful like. family. We're yes. very lucky to have them here in this area. And now you've okay. So then you decided, I've got this idea. Have you always wanted to do a children's book? I have not. My uh, my mother actually uh, urged me to do the children's book because I was going to do one on the World Boxing Federation. Well, that's like opposite yeah, ends of the yeah. spectrum, isn't it? Which one should I do? And she was started to think about the language that would be involved in that. So <laughs> like she moms had, do. She had finished the children's book that uh, Barbara Bush and her daughter had done and she said, look, you like to write. You know, some people play golf and tennis. I like to write as a hobby. So right. um, I have uh, a Maltese dog and a friend of mine has a Yorkie. So this idea uh, was born. So uh, we'll see how it goes. But so which came first, the story or the, the book? Did you want to write the book and then kind of created the story, or is this a story that's been with you? That is a great question. I guess it's, uh, you have to, when I was in school, you were always taught as a writer, write about what you know about. Yeah. So I know about that kind of subject, if you will, <laughs> and all my friends have dogs and so on. So um, you just have to have an imagination to come up with a storyline, like yeah. you all do every day, yeah, you know, you. so. Well, I can't wait to see the kids' book when yeah. it comes out. I'm definitely going to have to get a copy. And, of course, you're over in Savannah. So I'm in Savannah. And still loving it and busy as always. Yep, yep. We actually last year had 13 million people come for a visit to Savannah and, of course, our neighbors in Charleston and Hilton Head. Uh, unfortunately, we got hit pretty bad with the hurricane. We're still yeah. cleaning that up. But, but uh, It's been amazing to see the community come together in Savannah. I mean, I think there's such pride in that city and to come together to really clean up and, and pull this back together. It really is. Savannah's a town of about 150,000 people. I call it a small, big town mm -hmm. because we do have so many visitors. And mm -hmm. um, But we hadn't had a hurricane come through there in 32 years, so I hope it's another 32 before yeah. it happens again. But it's getting cleaned up, and as you mentioned, uh, people there are so resilient and, uh, and so very proud of our uh, heritage yeah. and the history of Savannah. And uh, it's um, so please don't defer your vacation. Come on down because yes. we'll be ready to see you again. So. And it's beautiful, and you've got now you're into coffee table books and yeah. all kinds of good stuff. So, yep, we uh, produce. Um, the coffee table book that's in all the hotel rooms, uh, we print 20,000 of these every year. So um, cool. if you want to know when you get to Savannah what to do, you just uh, Check take out. a look at that. And so Ron, you need to come it. back and visit us again next time you're in town, right? I'm going to come and bring a children's book for you. I can't wait. Yeah. Good to see you. you for too. more information on the children's book, watch for it on Amazon. Bristol Motor Speedway already available.